Good afternoon, it's uh, Adil Fazal, hey market analyst at CFDs.com, bringing you a review of the European markets for the Thursday's trading session 2017. The uh, date, obviously, uh, today is the 16th of November. Okay, so let's um, run into the, uh, let's run through the actual uh, market analysis thus far. Apologies for not uploading videos this week because I've been messing about with my computer, unfortunately. I've upgraded my graphics card to the uh, NVIDIA uh, 810 well, model, if I can recollect. Okay. Um, so I added on two more additional screens, certainly making it more easier for me to uh, obviously observe my intermarket analysis work, which is sorely needed. Okay, so in terms of uh, where we uh, stand in terms of European markets, we've had quite a substantial flush this week. Again, it's been more pro prolific than I certainly expected uh, and certainly has caught me off guard, although I have, like I said, I've been almost uh, blindsided this week due to tech issues. Okay, so let's uh, run through the market and see exactly where we stand. Uh, please be sure to visit Trade Signal signals and market updates from leading providers at www.tradesignal.com and you can certainly download the app at the Google Play and the Apple App Store. Okay, so uh, market numbers, let's just go through Asian session first and foremost. Let's see exactly uh, how that performed. Okay, Asian markets certainly have uh, certainly scared us this week and certainly with regards to liquidity concerns in China and growth concerns as well. Uh, the Nikkei is certainly surging back higher uh, overnight, up almost 1.5%, up 322 points. Hang Seng surging as well. Uh, the Shanghai certainly is, is the weakest link, really, given the fact that, like I said, you have got concerns with regards to uh, liquidity there and also with regards to Chinese data coming out weaker than expected this week. OK, so that's where we stand there in terms of uh, European session this morning. FTSE just high, just about higher. Uh, the German DAX certainly is rebounding now on the back of uh, obviously plunging down almost uh, certainly of almost a 5 percent retracement on the German DAX. French CAC certainly retraced quite substantially as well. The FTSE may buy back certainly higher as well. Okay, so certainly a short squeeze are ongoing. How far how further that goes? Again, it's a different question altogether. So let's see how long it lasts. Okay, uh, in terms of uh, technical, or should we say fundamentals today? Uh, economic data wise, you've had uh, UK retail sales more or less coming in uh, on the weaker side, certainly not coming in stronger than expected. Oh, sorry, uh, slightly on the stronger side. Uh, retail sales in a month on month. Do apologize. Uh, just reading the numbers out correctly there. So retail, it's an X fuel that I'm confused with. Okay, so retail sales month on month certainly coming in at 0.3%. So that's certainly help, helping sterling to a large extent, which in turn is keeping the FTSE 100 at bay as well. Now we have had Miss May certainly uh, talking down the uh, potential divorce bill settlement. Apparently she's offering 20 billion, okay, or e even more in order to get talks restarted. And she's certainly poured cold water over that. In terms of uh, consumer finance, also we see CPI data or inflation data out of Europe uh, coming in more or less uh, in line. Okay, nothing really uh, too uh, obviously deviating from the mean. Nothing really of any major market importance in terms of movements. We are looking at US data again coming out in the next hour or so. We've got continuing jobless claims, initial jobless claims, export import price. So again, a lot of inflation, a lot of jobs data as well. Uh, again, that will be quite important. We do have Mr. Carney at 2 o'clock, so watch out for Mr. Carney. Okay, Mr. Carney, Mr. Conliffe, Mr. Broadbent. Okay, then you've got FOMC Mester. Now, uh, for the FTSE, that's going to be very, very vital. 2 p.m., ideally, I want to be out of any FTSE positions because that could certainly go anyway. It certainly is a wild card with three potential BOE members talking. And also watch out if you're trading Euro GBP or GBP USD. Okay, in terms of uh, uh, the FOMC, you've got Mr. Mester speaking, so again, watch out for him. Brainard speaking again, watch out for him. Uh, okay, Kaplan speaking as well, watch out for him. And then we have ECB, uh, Mr. Constacio, who's quite a character, and also Mr. Williams. So uh, it certainly looks like uh, a lot of um, Fed speakers, a lot of uh, BOE speakers, and we have an ECB speaker. So central banks certainly saying, taking centre stage, therefore expect volatility. Okay, now let's look at the technical picture now. Where do we stand? Okay, so German DAX, look at that move, okay? Above 13,500, then reverses so sharply. Having said that, though, bear in mind in the larger scheme of things, the German DAX still remains bullish as it's above previous resistance equals support. Obviously, we've had political uncertainty in Germany with regards to Miss uh, Merkel, obviously uh, forming this uh, so-called uh, coalition, okay? Uh, coalition of the willing or unwilling, call it what you want. Okay, so again, let's wait for that. In terms of the... Uh, 60-minute chart, you've certainly bounced off that 12,850, uh, obviously, resistance. It's been quite an impressive bounce at that as well. Uh, there was gap fill in this region here, which is around 12,840, so we more or less closed that gap. We failed to hold this support level, which was quite amazing. Either way, German DAX certainly flushing. Now, the next key resistance in the German DAX is seen around 13,130 and 13,200 uh, levels, so watch out for that level on the German DAX. That will be quite important. 10-minute chart, you are seeing some turbulence in this region now at uh, 13.060. 
And again, you have to watch the bonds and uh, watch your euro as well. So if you are trading, folks, watch the bonds. Very, very important. As you can see here in terms of bonds, let's just go to a daily chart. You can see we hit that resistance. We sold off. German DAX sold off. So bonds are moving in tandem. So regardless of what Mr. Draghi has said, obviously in terms of him increasing the, uh, not increasing the QE, but duration. Reducing it half and obviously increasing the duration. Also, US uh, tax concerns as well certainly have weighed. That's led to a Luica dollar, which in turn has called the euro dollar to move higher. So a lot of factors at play here, folks. A lot of factors at play. And that hence the reason why I've been blindsided this week. Okay, so in terms of euro USD, let's move on to euro USD now again. A topping tail was put in, so what a move. I mean, you've had lower lows, lower highs in the euro dollar. Okay, especially after Mr. Draghi's speech, we, we sold off quite sharply. And then what a reversal. Okay, so obviously that was led by um, uh, risk off concerns. Uh, and also it was led by, obviously, the uh, tax, tax concerns. Okay, well, either way, it still means lower lows and lower highs. Watch out for the euro. Uh, again, you are looking at resistance here, and therefore that should be equity market supportive, especially the European uh, equities. Okay. Let's keep moving, okay. Uh, in terms of the uh, French CAC, now let's move on to the French CAC. Let's see exactly where we are there. Okay, so looking at the French CAC on the daily chart, again, what a move, okay. What a sell-off on the French CAC. Prolific, okay, prolific. So we actually went down to gap fill, we closed the gap, and then obviously we started to rally again. Uh, French CAC certainly is uh, in in a quagmire now, okay. Given the fact that it, held, it broke, it failed to hold previous resistance equal support, a weekly chart really is a weaker high. It's not exactly a very convincing higher high. Okay, let's keep an eye on the French cat going forward again. So again, it was more of a mirage rally. It wasn't really much of a rally at all. Okay, now how far do we retrace? Now that's the question. Uh, again, watch the euro, watch bonds, and that really will tell you the key. From my perspective, that certainly is a weaker hand, okay? Uh, any potential retracement will certainly be looking to be sold into, given the uh, prolific fall from 5, 530 all the way down to 5270. So impressive sell-off, okay, to say the least. 60-minute chart, again, you've bounced. Uh, we've failed to hold all these support levels for now, so let's just ignore that, okay? Uh, the only ones I'll probably look, look at now is previous resistance now, or previous support equals resistance. There's your key resistance zones. You have this weak diagonal trend line, but reality, it's not really going to be obeyed. Let's just leave that for now, okay? Uh, for uh, ne next resistance is seen at 5360, then you are looking at 5380, and they are your two resistance zones uh, in terms of the French CAC. What a sell off, though! What an impressive sell off, okay? So, either way, uh, we certainly close the gap. You had a gap down here, where we meet down here, okay? So, we close that gap uh, to the tick, and then obviously start to reverse. Now, how far do we reverse? That's the question. Let's see how the European markets react. I mean, you've had a non-stop move higher, 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 higher. And now it certainly seems to have come to an end. Now, you have left on fill gap behind in a 10-minute chart. So that gap fill certainly will be a potential target. So watch out there, folks, okay, in terms of the next move, okay, for uh, for the French CAC. Okay, uh, in terms of FTSE 100, let's move on to FTSE 100. Now, again, this is, a, this is what I've been attempting to trade anyway. Uh, this is an inverted head and shoulders that I've been waiting for. Uh, certainly is being ignored thus far okay so interesting scenario okay uh, it's getting weaker and weaker now possibility of move playing out certainly is getting weaker so we'll see uh, certainly see I did expect once it broke out we'd continue so it looks like a fail break to me uh, resistance you are you do have resistance at 7395 And the daily chart certainly shows you, um, obviously, you've got fib retracement uh, support as well. So you are looking for a potential short squeeze here now. 60-minute chart as well. You certainly have that bull flag scenario. Looking for a thrust back up to 7.410. That's basically what I'd be looking for on the FTSE. Let's see if we, we certainly get that. Okay, so that's my target, the FTSE 100 there. Okay, so I think that's a good summation, really, of European equities thus far. Again, keep watching bonds. Okay, given the fact that bonds have obviously put in a potential double top now. Uh, certainly will be hard for European equities to certainly rally higher, unless obviously we get some sort of news, good news on tax reform, and that obviously sends the dollar higher, which in turn sends the EURUSD lower, which in turn sends European equities higher. So can you see how everything's linked, folks, okay? Very, very intertwined right now. Either way, that's the status quo. Please be sure to visit cfds.com for your trading needs and certainly take advantage of the bonus. Goodbye now.